Now let us talk about another important thing, which is called the Leventhal paradox. What the, what just I I've just talked about is uh, considered there just for the uh, peptide backbone. There are three uh, conformations per amino acid. Okay, we know that there are three conformations per amino acid in the unfolded state. So suppose we are having only hundred amino acid uh, sequence of a protein. So we have a protein which is a very small protein which is having only hundred amino acid sequences. And we take this protein uh, and we are having the three conformation of this amino acids. So we are are having how many conformations we have with 3 to the power 100 conformations okay now if the chain can uh, sample 10 to the power 12 conformations per second it take uh, uh, 2 into 10 to the power 28 years to reach and produce this native state of the protein because that is really really difficult that is really really dangerous it cannot be happen so it, it will take much more year 2 into 10 to the power 8 years to achieve to make a protein stabilized to make a protein back to this native state or native conformations because there are lots of conformations there are lots of varieties of conformations that you can see this is called the Le Leventhal paradox and how this paradox is solved the conclusion is that the protein folding is not random that must have pathway that is another take home message just write it down the protein folding is not random because it cannot be random if it has to be random then it is it will be enormously complicated and very 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 time consuming so it have to have any pathway and the pathway is always there there is pathway there is other proteins there are other helper proteins which is helping the protein to achieve this this uh, very very uh, complex desire and they can actually uh, obtain that.